What's good, YouTube? It's your boy K Flex, and I'm back here with another video. And Jarvis Landry is at it again. Now, it seems like I'm making a repeat of the last video that I made about Jarvis Landry, but it's not. It's not a repeat. So, Jarvis Landry t goes on NFL Network today and says he didn't have a good relationship with, with uh, Ryan Tannehill. Now, how this got about is. The I guess they asked him, has he spoken to Ryan Tannehill? He said no, he hasn't spoken to Ryan Tannehill since he left. And he said he's not surprised their relationship wasn't good anyways. And this is why, you know what I'm saying, we got to stop thinking we know everything. And, and me included, which I don't think I know everything. But us as fans, we only know a little bit. Like, I thought Ryan Tannehill and Jarvis Landry were cool. Now, I don't even know where to start with this video. Let me start off at this point. Uh, I know he's not talking about on the field they didn't have a good relationship. I know it's no way that whatever he's talking about, it had to be personally or off the field, whether he wanted to practice and Tannehill didn't all the offseason or whatever, or he wanted to go bowling with Tannehill. Maybe he wasn't invited to Tannehill's wedding. I don't know what the situation is, but it can't be on the field. It just cannot. Because if you look, why do why do receivers get mad at quarterbacks? Or why do receivers and quarterbacks not have a good relationship? What is the reason? What is the only reason that quarterbacks and receivers don't have a good relationship? It's when they're not getting the ball, okay? Jarvis Landry, I know for a fact, is not complaining about not getting the ball, okay? It's no way he could be upset with the amount of targets he was getting with the Miami Dolphins. And that's the only on-the-field issue receivers and quarterbacks have. So, it had to be some off-the-field stuff. It, it's just no way. Now, Jarvis Landry is a, is bitter, okay? Jarvis Landry is bitter because Dolphins did not re-sign him, okay? He's upset. He said he's in a better position. You went to an 0-16 team. Stop it, okay? Bruh. You, you're upset, and it's okay. Another thing I want to address is that Jarvis strikes me as a guy who takes football serious. And a lot of Dolphins fans don't understand that, I guess. Like, he, he takes this shit super serious. And people get mad at him because maybe he says, well, he don't feel like Ryan Tannehill was working hard enough. Even if Ryan Tannehill was working hard, Jarvis Landry is on another level. He, he takes it, and I don't know Jarvis Landry personally, but it seems like he takes this to a whole nother level. And you guys can't get mad at that. You know why you can't get mad at that? Because the same people actually getting mad at that are the same people getting mad at Devontae Parker for not taking football serious. So you, you got to pick one. You feel me? It's either Devontae Parker or Jarvis Landry. If we want to find an in-between, maybe, but that, that's just the way it is. Either way, man, I, I don't think Jarvis is going to mention Ryan Tannehill again. I, I just don't see it happening. I, like I said, I didn't know that relationship wasn't that good. It got to be some personal stuff. Like I said, it can't be on the field because you got the ball every single play, okay, just about. Even the last season without Tannehill, the Dolphins forced Jarvis Landry the ball. Every time we got in the red zone, we, we would draw a play just specifically so Jarvis Landry could get in the end zone. It was literally like... Trust me, it, it cannot be about the, getting the ball. Thing is, you never know if somebody that's mad as Jarvis Landry, because Jarvis is mad. He wanted to play for the Dolphins, which even hurts me kind of even more that he really wanted to play for the Dolphins. He wanted to play for the Dolphins so bad that as we were, since we got rid of him, he's so mad now that he just is still hurt over it. But who knows if, he, if he's being truthful, okay? With, uh, well, with this, I don't know why he would lie, but say like, oh, Ryan Tannehill's not practicing. I've seen some comments on my YouTube, people saying that him and Ryan Tannehill did practice a lot during the offseason, so Jarvis Landry is just hating or mad. And that's that's a fact. When, when people get mad, they either tell the truth, the ugly truth, or they tell an ugly lie. It's just, <laughs> it's just the way it is. Either way, I don't want to see Ryan Tannehill respond. I don't want to see anybody from the Dolphins organization respond because we are not about to get no beef with the Browns, Bruh. okay? That's a bad look. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Just let me make these YouTube videos for the content. But it's a bad look if the Dolphins get in a, in a fighting match with the Browns, okay? Because we are not in that class, okay? And I ain't going to act like we up here. We are not in that class, all right? It's like Drake responding to me if I was a rapper. It would be like, why? Why are you responding to him? He don't even got, he, he got a thousand, like, no. No. Do not respond to a team who haven't won a game in two years. No way, bro. And the last point I wanted to make in this video, I almost forgot, is that this is actually some of the best things. Jarvis Landry is still helping the team right now without even playing for us. So, the well, only thing he's doing right now is adding a bigger and bigger chip on the Dolphins' shoulder. It's already big as hell because nobody expects it to be anything. But Jarvis Landry talking this shit, it's just adding a bigger and bigger and bigger chip, okay? And not, 
the Dolphins played very well, well, the last two years when they had the big chip on their shoulder. Last year, they didn't have a chip on their shoulder and went 6-10. The year before, they didn't know. We started off 1-4, got a chip on our shoulder, and took off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that took off that season are now gone, but we took off. So, let's see what happens. Anyways, get in the conversation. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Over to 6K on the way. It's 1K Flexing them out.